biggest debates these days in the tech world is whether Microsoft can really deliver on their promise to take down the iPad. The Microsoft Surface is a PC tablet hybrid. It comes with a keyboard and features the new Microsoft 8 software. But here's the problem. They won't let anyone play with it yet. They haven't announced how much it's going to cost. And then there's Microsoft's spotty history of hardware. Remember the Zune, anybody? Well, we've invited our tech guys to talk with us. Lewis Lee here from L2 Images and Stephen Fry from Best Buy. Guys, what do you think about the Microsoft Surface? What do you think, Stephen? I hope it's not another Zune. <laughs> um, I think Microsoft, from what I could tell with the video and, and the uh, keynote that they did, I think that the Surface actually looks like a, it's going to be kind of promising. It uh, has a little flip in the back for the kickstand, and the keyboard is definitely going to give it kind of a competitive edge against the, uh, the Apple iPad. Uh, mm. It is slightly thicker, uh, however, it does weigh a little bit more than the iPad, so we'll see. Well, the screen is a 10.6 inch instead of Apple's 9.7, so. Now, Lewis, let me, let me ask you. Now, if I was going to go buy a laptop today, I would be looking at Dell, I'd be looking at Sony, I'd be looking at Toshiba. Microsoft would not be one of the brands I would be looking at for a laptop. Do you think they can change people's minds about this? Yeah, I mean, well, they're great operating systems, but when you talk about the hardware. Hardware has always been a problem for Microsoft. and I don't think this is going to be any different. I mean, they've got a, lo a little bit larger screen, but do they have as high a resolution screen as, say, the Retina display on the, on the new iPad right. or even on the iPhone? Also, um, there, you can see right there on the screen, they've got a detachable keyboard. That's a great idea, but that keyboard looks very flimsy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's going to hold up. Uh, operating system, it's going to be Windows 8. Uh, so what you do know, you think, Stephen? Stephen has worked with Windows 8. And as a matter of fact, you actually brought in, because we haven't been able to talk about Windows 8, we just talked about not seeing it. You brought in a copy of Windows 8. Show us what you can show us that okay. there on the computer. Um, this is Stephen Fry taking over now. A couple things you're going to notice here is that there is not a traditional start menu down here at the bottom anymore. Uh, okay. That's actually a Google Chrome icon that's there. But if you put your mouse all the way down here in the corner, it's going to bring up the, uh, the start icon, and then once you click on that, it's going to take you to the Metro UI page. And that is what the tablet's going to be based off of. So you're going to have different so it's apps going to look on the like tablet. That? It's going to look just like this. That's totally different. Yeah, a lot of people are going to have to get used to that. But you're going to have different apps on there for news, for finance, for your calendar, and your mail. It's kind of like the Windows 8 phone, if you, or the Windows phone, if you've seen that one. It has a lot of uh, one screen that has all your notifications that pop up on there, kind of mimicking. Now, can you app. add to this, or is that pretty you much can. what you can? No, you can move everything will just get smaller then, right? Yeah, you all can move icons. those around. Anything that you install on the tablet or on the operating system, you can, it shows up there. That's actually your start menu there. Um, so it has changed a lot. And then to get back to your desktop, you actually click up here in the top left. So you're going to be using hot corners, which is a lot different than what a lot of people are used to doing. Well, let me ask you both here. Can they overcome this feeling that, you know, I think that Apple has pretty much taken over the computer world, the, the tablet world, the PC world. I mean, you've got the I, iPod, iPod touches now. It just seems like Apple is so dominant now. Can Microsoft make a comeback? Well, Steven's running that Windows 8 <laughs> on, on a, a Windows emulator on a Mac. Well, what does that tell you there, Stephen? <laughs> yeah, I think that... That happens to be your personal computer. That's why you're running this. It does, yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with no. that. No, but it it's doesn't. just kind of funny, though. Um, Microsoft's going to have to do a really good job of making people convert because everyone does have Apple products now and they're, they already have the accessories. They've already spent the 100 to $200 on the accessories to make the iPad work. They've already converted all their files over to the iCloud and making those people move all their music back or move all their things back, Microsoft's going to have to do a really good job to convince people to do that. What about somebody like you? Would you do it? No. With the iPhone, uh, Apple was able to get into every, just about every household. Uh, before, the Mac book, the, uh, the iMac, right. they were all a little bit too pricey for people right. to experiment with. But when they got the iPhone and started dealing with Apple software and realizing how well integrated it was and how easy it was for users, then they started buying the right. iMacs and the, and, the, uh, and the MacBooks. So I think, uh, I think Microsoft is behind the eight ball now. I think uh, their new operating system, basing it on a phone operating system, mistake. All right. Well, guys, I appreciate you both coming in. We'll be right back with more to wrap up the show in just a minute.